Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, guys, we are going to be going through question 4.1, right? And in question 4.1, guys, we are basically going to be dealing with measurements, right? We are going to be converting, okay? We are going to be calculating cost price. We are going to be calculating percentage of profit that is made. And we're also going to be uh, dealing with exchange rates, right? So if you know that you struggle with those topics, please make sure that you watch the entire video tutorial before you get started with the video tutorial guys please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a video tutorial and also don't forget to share this video tutorial with your friends so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial <music> Like I mentioned, we are going to be dealing with question 4.1, right? So let's have a look. It says that Bobby lives in India and wants to start his own takeaway business. His speciality is chicken biryani. All his ingredients will be bought in bulk. Bobby intends um, selling a plate of chicken biryani for 80 rupees, right? So that is basically how we show rupees. It's that R with that S, um, that is that basically means rupees, right? So um, he wants to sell a plate of chicken biryani for 80 uh, rupees. Table four shows the estimated cost of ingredients used to make eight plates of chicken biryani, right? So we've got table four here, and table four basically tells us all the ingredients that he'll need, as well as the price um, for those ingredients to make the, his um, um, chicken biryani, okay? Eight plates of his chicken biryani, right? We are told that 1 kg of chicken costs uh, 200 rupees, 1 kg of basmati rice costs 120 rupees, masala powder costs 10 rupees, and other ingredients that he might need cost 62 rupees, right? We are told that each plate of biryani will be packed in. So what's important here is that each plate of biryani will be packed in disposable food, uh, food containers that cost um, 2.43 uh, rupees, okay? And then we're given a glossary here. We are told what biryani is, and biryani is a mixed um, rice dish made with spices and rice and meat, okay? It's very nice. Okay, and we've got a, a picture of a plate of biryani, but the, the picture that they've used here, like, hey, you can't see what's going on there. So I'm going to put a nice picture here of what she, uh, biryani, uh, chicken biryani looks like. It's like this, okay? Right, so let's get started basically with, um, with the questions. So before then, guys, we are told that, okay, these are the ingredients that he needs to make his chicken biryani, eight plates of his uh, biryani, that, okay? And as well as the price... And you also need to uh, be aware of this, right? That each plate, so after he's made those eight plates, now, um, he also needs to pack um, the, the chicken biryani. And one uh, disposable food container basically costs 2.43 uh, rupees. So please take note of that, right? Let's get started with the question. It says determine in rupees, ne? not rands, rupees. The price of 520 grams of chicken, okay? So what do we notice here? How can we determine the price of 520 grams of chicken? We are given information here. They tell us that one kg of chicken is equal to 200 rupees. Yeah. One kg of chicken is equal to 200 uh, rupees. So we basically need to use that to help us determine what would be the price then of 520 grams of chicken um chicken right so then here guys this is measurements uh, i'm sure you can basically see now right we know that before we even do that we need to convert these 520 grams into kilograms and once we've converted that into kilograms then we will be able to basically use this one kg chicken is equal to 200 uh, rupees to help us calculate um how much 520 grams of um chicken in rupees will cost right so let's basically start off by doing that we know that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams okay i want to convert this 520 grams into kilograms because it makes the calculation uh, nice and easy so let's do that let's convert this grams into kilograms 
one kg is equal to a thousand grams that is what we know from what we've learned in measurements right okay and then what do we need to do we've got 520 grams we need want to convert these grams into kilograms so you multiply by what you want so it's one kg one kgs and you divide it by what you have which is a thousand grams okay right i put it in this way so that you guys can see that the grams and the grams cancel and you'll be left with the units in kilograms right so 520 times it by one divided by a thousand or you can just say 520 divided by a thousand and that gives us 0 0.52 kg right so that is basically what we have we basically have 0 0.52 kg of chicken and we want to determine the price of that chicken in rupees right so then now we're going to go back to that table we know that one kg of chicken is equal to 200 rupees one kg of chicken is equal to 200 rupees that r with that small s there right so we've got five uh 0 0.52 kg so it's going to be 0 0.52 five two kgs right multiplied by what do you want you want the price ne? so you multiply by what you want which is the r the price okay in rupees and you divide it by what you have which is that kg i write it like this so that you guys can see that the kg and the kg cancel each other and you'll be left with the units in rupees right so 0 0.52 multiplied by 200 rupees that gives us 104 rupees right so that is basically the price of 520 grams of chicken in rupees okay let's move on to the next question. calculate the total cost to make and package a plate of chicken biryani so you want to find out what would be the cost of making a single plate of chicken biryani so what do we need to do we need to go back to our table four. This table, guys, ne, this is why mathematics literacy needs you to make, you need to read your questions properly. So you need to be well rested. You need to make sure you read your questions properly. And you also need to make sure that you understand the English that is basically uh, given to you. So if it's a plate, that means that it's just one plate, right? So let's calculate the cost. So how do we do that? We know that here, these are the ingredients for eight plates okay so we're gonna add all these uh the costs for all these ingredients yeah? and you're gonna divide by eight to get how much it would be for one plate plus we're gonna add that 2.43 because we know that each plate of disposable food container costs that amount okay i'm gonna repeat we're gonna add all these costs right and you're gonna divide by eight because we told that this is to make eight plates okay so that we get how much it is for one plate and after we get the price um for the ingredients for one plate you're going to add how much it is um you're going to add the disposable container and then you'll find how much it would be to basically um, make a plate as, as well as package one plate of chicken biryani so we're going to do that okay so it's going to be that 200 rupees plus 120 rupees plus 10 rupees plus 62 rupees okay if you punch that into your calculator you'll get that you get 392 rupees right so it costs 392 rupees to make eight plates of chicken biryani so what do we need to do with that i'm going to take that 392 rupees and you're going to divide by eight to get the cost for one plate right so if you divide that by eight you'll find that the cost for one plate costs 49 rand right and then we, we've just made our chicken brand our chicken brand is made but now we need to package it and we are told that okay the price for a disposable food for one disposable food container right costs 2.43 rupees so we need to add that right so if we add that how much do you get you get 51.43 okay that is the cost to basically make and package a plate of chicken biryani okay so i'm gonna repeat the price to just make our chicken biryani okay was 
49 rupees that is just to make it and to package our chicken biryani we needed to add right the 2.43 right therefore the price to make and to package our chicken or a single plate of chicken biryani is 51.43 rupees cool stuff let us continue question 4.1.3 bobby claims that he can make more than 50 percent profit on one plate of chicken biryani verify or uh, verify by showing all calculations if his claim is valid so oh, bobby right is claiming that he can make more than 50 percent profit on one plate of chicken biryani okay so how can we verify uh, how can we verify whether his claim is valid okay so we know that the cost price okay because here in the previous uh question we calculated the cost price of basically making these chicken biryanis that is the cost price okay okay so the cost price of one plate is equal to 51.43 rupees okay and then what else do we know the selling price what is the selling price how much because we know that to make these chicken biryanis that is how much it costs um oh bobby to make the chicken biryani it costs him 51.43 rupees but in our information we told that he actually sells a plate of chicken biryani for 80 rupees so he the cost to make the uh, chicken biryani is 51.43 rupees he sells them for 80 rupees so what is the percentage that he makes from um percentage of profits that he makes from selling one plate of chicken biryani okay so we said that the selling price is okay so how can we basically check if he makes uh, more than 50 percent okay guys what do we got what we're going to do we're going to say the cost price i mean the selling price minus the cost price so it's going to be that 80 rand or the 80 rupees sorry minus the 51.43 rupees divided by the cost price of 51.43 rupees and you need to multiply that by 100 okay so if you do that you'll find that you get 55.5 percent so that is how much profit bobby makes right from selling his uh, chicken biryani and from here we can see that he actually makes more than that 50 percent uh profit okay therefore we can therefore confirm that his claim is valid okay Quest question 4.1.4 right says that the exchange rates between south african rands and indian rupees on the 3rd of march 2021 is given in table five below right so we're given um the exchange rates okay in this table we told that for one south african um or one south african rand is equal to 4.834607 7 indian rupees right or one indian rupee is equal to um 0 0.206839 so that is basically what that table is telling us right so we need to determine in rands in the the price of masala powder so we need to go back um to the information that was initially given to us so we see that okay the price for masala powder is uh, 10 rupees right so one masala powder is equal to 10 rupees i'm gonna do the calculations here okay one masala powder is equal to 10 rupees right so we need to convert that into those 10 rupees into south african rands right so we're gonna take that 10 rupees okay i'm gonna use this to help me convert right you can use this one or you can use this one right Either one that you use is fine. I'll even show you how we can use both of them to convert, to help us convert. I'll start off with the first one, right? So we know that one rand is equal to uh, 4.835 rupees, ne? Uh, basically, or rounded it off, okay? So we're going to multiply by what you want. You want the price in rands, so it's going to be one rand divided by what you have and we've got the price in rupees. So it's going to be RS 4.83 
I'm gonna say actually I'm gonna write it all down uh, 46707 and then you punch that into your calculator okay so I do it like this so that you guys see that the rupees and the rupees cancel and you're gonna be left with the units in rand okay and you're gonna find that your answer is two rand and zero six eight three so i'm gonna round it off to two decimal places okay six eight three and if you round it off to two decimal places your answer is two point zero seven rand okay so for um one masala powder in south african rand it's two rand and zero seven cents wow wow that's very cheap eh? right and then let me just show you guys how we can use um the other one to help us convert right we said that here okay one uh rupee is equal to zero po uh, point zero point uh two oh six he said one rupee is equal to zero point two oh six eight nine right so we're going to use this to basically get the price of one masala powder we said that one masala powder is equal to 10 rupees right so we can now use that to help us convert um that one rupee which is equal to 0 0.2068 rands okay so we've got 10 rupees and you want to convert that into rands you're going to multiply by what you want and what do we want we want the price in rands so that is what we want so you're going to multiply it by 0 0.206839 and you're going to divide by what you have okay which is the rupees you've got your units in rupees if you punch that into your calculator you will still get 2.06 um 839 in other words um 2.07 if you round it off to two decimal places right so either way you do that that's absolutely fine right um yeah and that is basically our final answer right that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Bye, guys.